Hey everybody, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a plan with me for July 23rd through the 29th, but before I get to that, I wanted to go back and show you how my spreads from when I was on vacation came out. So I think you guys saw this one. I just posted these on Instagram. Today's Sunday. So they're up before this video will be up. So um, I think I posted this one before I left and then I left this day. You guys, I forgot that I put breakfast, lunch, dinner stickers on here because I didn't travel with this planner. So I never wrote down what I had for breakfast and lunch every day. I only kept track of dinner. So that was a fail. <laughs> um, but I added some things to it and, um, you know, filled it out and things like that. So that is my spread where I used uh, kind of some kit pages and then a whole bunch of freebies and then I don't do the monthlies in this planner just so you guys know this was a glam planner get glitch kit and I loved this and then I added I think I did this after the video I added these rose color days overlays so this one has like fireworks on it this one has like a sparkler on it um, I think I only did those two but they're really cute, um, and I just sort of filled this one out, um, and then this one was a mommy sticker book. I do have videos for each of these. If you go back on my Plan With Me on a Budget series, um, they will all be on there. This is so cute. I love this little flower here. I, I really like how this one turned out. And then this is the current week that we're on. Like I said, it's Sunday right now. Um, and this one's nice and bright and kind of springy. Um, I love all the gold foil. I couldn't remember if I did these for dinners or for videos because I apparently didn't leave room for both. <laughs> um, but I put dinners because I have my videos marked other places. So I was like, whatever. Um... And then, like I said, today's Sunday. I went on a date yesterday. <laughs> it was very nice. Um, we went to Starbucks, and then we went to see Incredibles 2, which was really cute. It was a really cute sequel. Like, it was well done. I was really impressed. Um, and then, like I said, we're going to plan this week. So, this week... I'm going to use a different type of sticker book. This is one of the Erin Condren sticker books. I honestly don't know if this is still available or not, um, but she comes out with different ones all the time. So this is the classic sticker book, and you'll see I've used stickers from this already, um, but they have gold foil, silver foil, um, rose gold foil, which is what we're going to use today. This has gold, silver, and then we have rose gold again, and then gold, silver, um, rose gold and then gold, <laughs> silver, do you guys see a theme? <laughs> and rose gold. So you have like three or four pages of rose gold stickers or gold or silver or whatever. And then at one point we got these little, um, sticker sampler books, I think like in your pouch when you ordered a planner. So it has some of the same types of stickers, but I'm going to use this rose gold washi strip in addition to the long rose gold washi strip because that way I can do both sides. I will probably bring in some Simply Gilded washi or something also, but we're going to start there with washi. And then of course we have like full boxes and things. And then I also have um, from when Scribble Prince Co. did her Black Friday stuff, I picked up grab bags and I got these beautiful girls. They're like these little fairies or something sitting on tree stumps. <laughs> and then from that kit, I got the matching little things and some boxes. And then this would be like a monthly sheet, but it has a bunch of full size icons on it. This has gold foil, so I probably won't use those numbers. Um, but I thought it would be cute to bring in some of these girls as well as maybe some of the quote boxes. And then I brought out a rose gold, uh, rose colored days foiled sampler for another set of headers. And then from M Crystal Prints, I have today and to do headers as well as check flags all in rose gold foil. And then from Moose and Mittens, I have this, um, uh, like script sheet. I do have a coupon code. You can use Laura 20 for 20% 20 off of her shop. She has kits, functional foil, monthly, all sorts of different stuff. It's a really cute shop and she's my local girl in Colorado. I love it. Um, so I'm really excited about her shop and I knew I needed a date night sticker and then maybe some of these other things. So I definitely need to clean. 
my apartment's already a disaster and I've only been back for like less than a week. I'm like, what happened? It was perfectly clean when I came back. Um, so that is what I'm going to be using for today. I don't know what else I'll bring in. You'll just see as I go because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> But this is what I'm starting with, and we're just going to go with it. So I hope it works out. I've never used the Erin Condren stickers to um, do a spread. I've always used them, like, on a notes page or just, like, as an accent or, like, envelope labels or, you know, all sorts of different things like that, but never to do a spread. So... I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Obviously, when you buy sticker books, they are more affordable than buying a single weekly kit that you can maybe stretch for two or three weeks, but, you know, it's still not going to be great. I feel like this is not going to stick down. So I might put a little adhesive on either end just to make sure. Whoops, I hit my camera. I'm sorry. Just to make sure it sticks. because I feel like it's not. Nope. It's hard to glue just one tiny area. This washi is so pretty though. I do recommend if you're going to, like if you really wanna use the washi from her sticker books, buy two sticker books. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but because, well, if you like symmetry, if you don't care about symmetry, then it doesn't matter. Um, but you only get one strip of each, for me, that would drive me mental. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And then you, of course, would have to trim it. Because on the short side, it's not going to work. But Or you could go, like, all the way across the planner into the sidebar. Whatever you want. I don't know if this one will be more sticky or not. I'm hoping. Hoping for the best. She does foil so well. I really like her foil. Um, it's very pretty, and there's always a ton of it. <laughs> so, okay. We're going to just start with that tiny bit of washi because I might do half boxes or something. I don't know. I have labels. I have other stuff. So we might pull in Simply Gilded washi. I really don't know, you guys. I don't know. And then I feel like it might be crazy to use all four of these girls, but at the same time, I kind of want to use all four of these girls because <laughs> they're so pretty. And they are taller than a regular full box, so that will adjust things a little bit as well. Um, and I think I'm going to scatter just because if you don't have something cohesive to work with, sometimes that more like whimsical scattered look makes the spread work a little bit better. So I'm going to um, scatter them, like I said, and hope for the best. So we'll put this beautiful girl here and she'll cover the next header, but that's okay. And then what do we have? Pink hair. Up the blonde girl. Tamara, it's me and you. I love you, girl. <laughs> um, all right. So me and Tamara as fairies on this side. <laughs> Jody, that could be you. I love you guys that I've gotten to know as subscribers. Like I can't even tell you how much I love knowing you guys and getting like to be actually like friends with you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, maybe this one I'll put at the bottom. Or maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do her here. And then I'll put one on the sidebar. Oh, sidebar stuff. I didn't think about that. Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to pull out other stuff for sidebar. For sure. Okay, I think I need to wipe that out. I almost grabbed the glue. That would have been really weird. Okay, I don't know why I'm winding it out this way and not the long way, but who knows? Sometimes you just do whatever your brain tells you to do, right? And like, whether it's logical or not, you just go with it. <laughs> the kit that these were from is really, really pretty. It kind of reminds me of like a woodsy nursery, like baby nursery. Um, it's really sweet. 
but I didn't feel like I needed it, so I never bought it. Um, okay, I think I want... I think I want this box. Let me see what other boxes I have. It's the same as the one that's in here, but I figure I might as well pull it from here. We have this beautiful bluish one that I think would go really well. Actually, the peach might work too. These. Okay. Um, I don't, the only thing I don't like is that it's so many quotes, but I think it'll work in the end. So I'll put this one in this middle section here. Oh, that's a real short box. Okay, we're just going to be adventurous with this. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, I forgot that some of them are not the same, same height. Some of them are shorter. See, like that one covers. This one's short. Oh goodness. Okay, then I'll pull this peach one over here. And I'll put this one at the bottom. There we go. And then one more. So I have that blue one that I think would work, but then I feel like there was stuff on this other page and I can't remember. So I have these kind of, um, I think I'll just do this one. So the colors are not like perfectly matched, but they're all kind of in the same you know, family of blues, peaches, greens, pinks. Well, maybe not so much pink, the rose gold. So I think it'll work. I'm hoping. If it's terrible, then it's terrible. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm not going to stress about it. So we're going to just try because that's how you learn is by trying. Okay, so then I have these headers, like I said. And they are the to-do and today headers. So the to-dos I'll put with the checklist. The todays I will put over the full boxes. And then I have a set of rose gold headers on that sampler that I can use for... Actually, maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Hold, please. <laughs> I think I'm going to do these over the full boxes. And then the today headers in the blank sections. So I actually would prefer to get my to-dos down first, but I'll put these three down and then I'll go to the to-dos. So if my to-do section is here, maybe I can do here, here, and then here. So to-do, 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 so that means this is today. And these are from M Crystal Prints, if I didn't say that. I can't remember if I did or not. And then to do so today. And they're white, so I apologize if you can like barely see them. <laughs> I have a feeling that's how it's gonna be, but it makes it look very clean and white space at the end because they're white, obviously.
Okay, so there is kind of the structure of the week. So we have a to-do section which varies in size each day because of the different sizes of boxes. And then we have a to-do section for each day with the checklist. And then both of those were from M Crystal Prints. Uh, those were from Rose Color Days. And then I need to work on my sidebar. So I do have a few sidebar things because this sheet has, oopsies, it has a this week sticker. So I'll start with that. And then we have a dinner sticker and we have this Monday through Sunday foiled sticker so I can use this for dinners and I can just leave the pink because it's not that far off from the kit um although I have oh no I don't have dinners okay I'll do dinners and I'm gonna put this over this pink bar because if I put the Monday through Sunday sticker up underneath this week then it would go over the pink and I think that would look funny. Oops, I'm gonna have to move this in a little bit. Because the letters are a little thicker. All right, so hopefully that's straight. We'll stick that down. I've never actually used one of those before. So we'll put dinners there and like I said, we'll just leave the pink. Um, maybe I can find a character or something to put in here. I don't know. <laughs> um, or an icon. I could put like a meal icon. That might work. Okay. Then in here, I'll need to find some, what you call it? Um, <laughs> habit trackers. I'll find those in a little bit. Um, okay. So then we have little things that I think I want to use. So they're pink, this like periwinkle -y lilac color, peach, and then the green. And I have two of each, so I'll just put a video one every single day. And I don't really know how to do the colors because obviously I didn't use stuff from this kit. <laughs> so I think I'll put this color here. And then maybe, maybe the green is the best for this one. I think I'm going crooked on that one. And then let's do peach here. Okay, so that means I should do peach here and pink in the center. Oops. And then blue and green. I don't know you guys. Obviously it's not going to be like totally color blocked. So we're just going to go with it. Why did I end up with two today sections down here? That was goofy. Although then I can stick in a weekend banner I guess a little more easily. And now these are floating so they're probably really crooked. I hope they're not, but they probably are, like in line and stuff. That always gets really tricky. <laughs> I should have moved, I should have put this down here and had a to-do section, or today section here. Whatever. Okay. Um, maybe that is what I'll do. Maybe I'll put this weekend banner in first. And that way, if they're not perfectly straight, it's not like something's layered on top like a box and I can put them in here where it might be a little bit more straight. Okay, and then I think I needed one more peach. Yes, over here. And again, this one will be floating. So I just eyeball it and hope for the best. <laughs> okay, let's see. On Monday, where do I even have my plans? Pause. Okay, I had to get my Erin Condren, which is this planner that's sitting here, but there's a wall there, so I can't really move it back any further. 
<laughs> um, but I wanted to look at what I had scheduled for next week because I stupidly planned my Erin Condren with like my pre-planning sheet and then I threw my pre-planning sheet out like as if I was done planning. I'm like, hello, you do three plan with me this week. Come on, get it together. <laughs> you can tell it was my first week back. So anyways, Monday, I just have a video going up. So um, that's this little thing. And then I don't know what else is happening that day. So I'll probably just leave this kind of blank. I did stick in a, um, a little dinner icon here. And then I still need to find habit trackers. But I think I know which ones I'm going to use because I know which ones have pastel. I just need to get them out of storage. Um, and then on Tuesday, I have a date. <laughs> like I said, I went on a date yesterday as I'm filming this and we're going on a second date tomorrow. Um, we like know each other. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> not gonna lie I'm pretty confused and then I also have Pilates this day so date night and Pilates both on the same day I'm also getting an Amazon delivery um I probably should have flipped these so I have more room <laughs> so I think I'm gonna put this half box for the date night I wonder if I can fit maybe I'll fit this other little thing I'll oh. I'll probably um, cover it up a little bit, but it's not a huge deal. And then we'll put this half box. Yeah, it covers just a smidgen. I should have maybe put them the other way around, but whatever. And then like I said, I have these Moose and Mitten stickers that has this really cute script date night. And this is like her script sampler. Um, she does have other script stickers that you could get like a whole sheet of script stuff just in case you were curious <laughs> so date night and then we're going to dinner I don't know if we're doing anything else but I'll write in where we go on that day um, because he'll probably decide where we're gonna go on that day <laughs> um, and then I'm like okay what do I need to wear what kind of place are we going to um, and then it's like hurry up and get ready because whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's always kind of funny. So there's that. And then maybe I'll put that to clean on Monday. I wonder if I should cut it and just write clean. I think that would be better because I'm not going to make a list of what to clean. And I'll put clean on my to-do list. Very nice. Very cute font. And then let's see. Um... I wonder if my manicure will still be intact by this day. Today's Sunday. I guess it should be. I won't put manicure down yet. Hopefully it's still working for me. <laughs> and then, okay, so Amazon delivery. Date night, I need Pilates. So maybe I will put that in a quarter box, like one of these. Or I could do a label. <laughs> I think I'll do this and I'll put it at, well, actually I'll put it, mm, it'll be like the first thing I do that day, but I think it looks funny way up here, but oh well. So I'll put a little appointment label. Can you guys even see these colors are so pastel? Um, and then do we have like a workout? kind of thing. We have like a little running guy. I don't know that that's what I want. Um, oh, you know what? This is going to be redundant, but I'm going to put this package circle over just so it looks a little nicer since that box got layered underneath. That way I have the whole package showing. Again, redundant, but it's fine. <laughs> um, 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 um. Okay. I think I'll use a character or something because I don't think this has any workout type stuff either. So this one is my characters wholly zoomed in and 
I just rearranged all my stickers, so hopefully I can find it <laughs> because um, I don't know what order they're in anymore. I just did it like as I was putting them in. I was like, yep, okay, that works. But <laughs> now I'm like, I don't know where anything is. Okay, these are my little guys here. So I just got these, but I think these are not elegant enough. They're just too cutesy. So maybe those, those are too colorful. Maybe the mini ones. Hiking, walking, weights. Oh, she's cute. Maybe I'll use her. I don't know if I can fit her in. She's kind of big. I could use the little, like, character, or the little pet, though. Okay, is that going to be weird? I hope not. That's pretty cute. I think it'll work. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> and that is from Glam Planner. What else do I need? So Wednesday is like Monday. I don't have anything currently scheduled except for a video. Monday is... Um, my B6 plan with me. Tuesday will be a Simply Gilded box. Wednesday is my budget plan with me, which will be this plan with me. So I don't have anything else I need to mark on Wednesday at the moment. Thursday, I have Pilates again. So I probably should have left those stickers out. That was silly. Okay, so Thursday, like I said, is Pilates. Um, maybe I'll use a quarter box this time. For Pilates. And I'm going to use this character. I found this sheet where she's a little bit smaller, so I'll put her here. And then I'll write Pilates and the time. I think I'm doing cardio Pilates that day, which I have not done before. You like use a jump board, so you're like jumping, but you're laying down. I don't know. I'm nervous and excited. <laughs> and then Friday I have, oh, this is a room tour. Friday is a haul. Saturday is my, hopefully, my Erin Condren monthly for August. And then Sunday will be my Erin Condren plan with me. Saturday is the only one I'm not sure about because my boss hasn't sent me our work schedule yet, like our calendar. And I'm like, hello, I don't know anything except for the first day of work. <laughs> So she said she would send it, but she hasn't yet. Um, that might be it, you guys. I really don't know. Oh, I have a bill. Never mind. I have a bill due on Saturday. So let's maybe look in the Erin Condren sticker book because I know we have some labels. Um, so we have this page that has cute stuff. I feel like those are a little too dark, so maybe I'll grab from this page. Um, let's see. Saturday is the bluish color. Maybe I'll take this one up here. It matches that more, but that's okay. So I'll put that little, whoa, real crooked. We'll put that there and we have a little, I think I'll use the, the money bag, even though that would typically be more like payday or something, but I think I like it here. All right. And then I can write my bill in there. Um, that, okay. Now I think it's it kind of boring when I don't know anything that's going on. I should maybe figure out the bottom washi because I don't have enough half boxes to put like one on each day. Um, I already have dinners. So let me go look in my collection and see what I have for bottom washi that might match. I'm thinking some bows, but I'm not sure. Let me, let me go peruse my collection. I'll be back. 
Okay, I'm back. So I used two Simply Gilded Washies. I have the Pink Butterfly with Rose Gold. I thought it tied in nicely with the wings, plus the colors all kind of go with this kit. They're a little bit more vibrant, but because it's at the bottom, it's fine. And then it ties in some of this like watercolor, like if you look at that butterfly, and then you look at this box, they go together. And then this ombre is from this collection. I actually really liked, I pulled the big one out, and I really liked that too, but I really wanted to use the butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked the skinnier one and managed to fit that down at the bottom. So I have um, those three washies at the bottom. I think they go together nicely. I love the like color change. I think it's really pretty. Um, I think that's all I did. And then I pulled out um, from Planner Gems. Obviously, you could use any shop that you like. I pulled out these uh, habit trackers. So I think... I'm gonna use this periwinkle color and I think the like minty color and hopefully these will both fit oh they'll easily both fit in here so maybe I'll just leave a little white space between them because I don't have anything else that needs to go there so we'll do that two habit trackers um, and again like you know, glossy stickers are more expensive, although I got these in, like I said, that Black Friday grab bag, which was super, super cheap. And then, um, you know, foil stickers, although sometimes more expensive, like I bought that sheet of these um, checklists and you can get so many spreads. So I think I've done two full spreads so I can get at least two more out of just this one sheet. So in the end, it doesn't end up being super expensive um, when you have that. Um, you know, whole foil sheets like this are more expensive, but you wouldn't have to do foil. You could just buy regular samplers or, you know, use things that are in your stash or whatever, things that are left over from kits. Like if you have checklists, like if you bought a full kit and it had ombre boxes and checklists, you could save the checklist or save the ombre boxes or whatever the case might be. Um, but definitely plan for the Scribble Prince Co. Black Friday sale in November. I'm telling you guys, it was amazing. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think, I think that's it for my spread for now. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing every day um, because I'm a bad planner girl and I don't pre-plan like laundry and all that kind of stuff. I just kind of do it whenever I have the motivation and all that kind of stuff. During the school year, I'm a little bit better because my time is more precious. But in the summer, I'm like, la di da I get to do whatever I want. And it's the best thing in the world. <laughs> and then it's like, oh my gosh, I have stuff to do. Okay, so this is my spread. It ended up being a little bit more blue over here and a little more green over here, but I guess that's okay. Um, hopefully when I fill in more um, pieces, like when I fill in more half boxes or little things. Hopefully the colors will balance out a little bit. This is blue because it's the closest thing I had to the periwinkle, but this day should actually be green technically, but that box is blue. So whatever, it's going to work. I think the colors are fun. This one's a little bit bright, but like I said, the washi kind of ties it in. Um, it is a little repetitive to have four of the same girl, but they each look different. Um, so she's got brown hair. She's got pink hair. She's um, darker. She's uh, blonde. Um, so I don't know. It adds enough variety. And then with the other quote boxes and stuff mixed in, I think it still turned out very beautiful. So um, the date covers look a little crazy because they're very dark. But when I write in black pen, they usually kind of balance out a little bit. And because it's a budget plan with me, I'm not going to pull out more date covers. I might put them on before I show the spread like on Instagram or something just for my own, but you know, trying to keep it as minimal as possible. I used one Erin Condren sticker book, three sheets of Scribble Prints Co. grab bag that just happened to go together, um, some M Crystal Prints sheets, Moose and Mittens sheets, um, and one Rose Colored Day sampler, which again, you wouldn't like you wouldn't need this because you have these. You also have meal things. You could have used the Monday through Sunday for something else. So there is variety on this sheet as well. I was just kind of spreading the wealth, especially because of the headers. You only get one set of headers here, and I wanted to make sure all of them were covered. So there are my thoughts. I think it turned out really pretty. Um, the rose gold is gorgeous. 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This was different for me, but I think it's pretty. It's a little bit more springtime than summertime, but again, whatever. I'm just learning new ways of planning and sharing with you guys. So I hope you guys like that. I hope you like seeing the Erin Condren sticker book. Hopefully I'll pull more of that in as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will keep trying to make this budget plan with me series fresh and helpful for you guys because I've been getting a lot of feedback that it's helpful and that's awesome. So I will do my best. All right. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.